biggest difference between Combine Harvesters now and back then is the fact that they now have a cab. Because back then you had nothing to protect you from all the sun and the dust. You got very, very bloody thirsty. So at the end of the day, you know, they might have a drink of beer. I used to call that slicking the dust. You have to understand that the brewery started with slick dust. Um, and it sells more than anything else. But it's more than just that for us. Because we're farmers. You know, and this beer actually harkens back to that tradition. Not just in name, but also the way it actually tastes, you see. Because it's quite light. It's low strength. And that means you can actually drink quite a fair bit of it before you start to feel the worst for it, really. Um, and that's kind of the aim of it, really. It's not so much about the alcohol content, because it is quite low strength. You know, you can drink more of it, quench your thirst easier. So, the beer's got three main ingredients, really, right? You've got your hops, so like Centennial, which gives it a lot of its flavouring. So, you've got the malt, so you've got quite a fair bit of pale malt. Um, Yorkshire Love. <laughs> so, after it's been fermented, conditioned, and taste tested a lot of times, you know, it's sort of a way of tasting what it would have been like back in those days to feed a nation. It's our heritage, but we want to share it with you. It's, uh, it's a lovely dark colour, nice creamy head to it. Roasted malt, Pontefract cakes. 